Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. In this video, we're talking about two-way tables, okay? Um, and filling them in based on um, information that they're giving you. We're gonna fill in a two-way table, that's what this is, and we're gonna answer some questions on it. So let's see, let's read what it says. In a group of 30 people, so I know there's 30 people total, six men and eight women have pets. There are 17 women in the survey. Complete the two-way table and answer questions. Okay, so how many, we gotta take what we've learned here, that we have a group of 30 people. So our total number of people, men and women, men and women, would be 30. It says six men and eight women have pets. So this is my column of people, men and women, and then the total number, who have pets. So it says there are six men and eight women who have pets. Then it says there are 17 women in the survey. So women total, both with pets and without pets, there are 17 total. So now that's all it gave us. So we're going to need to just use logic and reasoning to fill in these other spaces and then answer some questions on what we find. Okay, so there's no set way to go about this. There's tons of different ways you could do this. What stands out to you might not stand out to me. Um, so just know by the end you should have all the same numbers, but your process might be a little different. All right, so I look here and I say, okay, people who have pets, six of them more men, eight of them more women. And then I've got my total column here. So can I just do six plus eight is my total of pet owners? Yeah, and six plus eight is 14. All right, and once I know that, if I know that there are 14 people with pets, I don't know how many people don't have pets, but I do know I have a total of 30 people. So couldn't I do 30, 30 minus 14 and that would tell me this difference here? Yeah. So 30 minus 14 would be 16. All right. And then I look here and I say, all right, I've got a total of 30 people and I know 17 of them are women. So can I do 30 minus 17 and that will tell me how many men there are? Yeah. 30 minus 17 is 13. All right, and then if I know the total of um, men, there's 13 men total in the survey, I know six of them have pets. Couldn't I do 13 minus six to find out the amount that don't have pets? Sure, and that will be seven. And then here, um, if I know I have 16 total people without pets, seven of them are men, can I do 16 minus seven to find out how many were women? Yeah, and it would be nine. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. You might have had a totally, you know, you might have gone in a different direction and done other things first, and, and that's fine, as long as your answers are the same. So now we've got some questions. What percent of males have a pet? Okay, so we've got to think. We're talking about males. So it doesn't ask about women or people in general. It's specifically talking about males. So what percent of males have a pet? So I see that there were 13 men total, okay? And six of them have pets. So to figure that out, I would do the total number of men with pets, six, divided by the total number of men, 13. And then I would simplify this. Um, I would do six, put this on. I would do six divided by 13, and it'll be a decimal. I wanna turn that decimal into a percent. So how we do that is we would take the decimal and we would move it over to the right two places. So it would be, and then we'd round to just the nearest whole percent. So this would be 46%. All right, what percent of survey participants are women? So now we're not talking about pets versus no pets. We're just talking about people in general, right? Out of everyone participating, so out of 30 people participating, how many are women? 
what percent are women? So we know that 17 of the people are women out of 30 total. So 17 divided by 30 would give me a long decimal. You move, I'll show you guys. Long decimal, I move my decimal place over two to the right, and then I'm gonna round up since that's a six, so we'll say 57%. All right, and then my last question, what percent of those with no pets are male? So they're talking about the total number of people without pets. Okay, so there's 16 people with no pets. How many of them are male? What percent of them are male? So that would be out of seven males who don't own pets out of 16 total people who don't have pets. So we would do seven divided by 16. All right, I would move my decimal place over two to the right. I would round up because of that seven to 44%. All right, that's two-way tables. This has been Miss Miss Math Tutorials.